One in nine Canadian women will develop breast cancer during her lifetime. That's a statistic the organizers of the CIBC Run for the Cure are determined to change. Here in Niagara, over a thousand participants gathered at Brock University for the 24th annual Run for the Cure to kick off Breast Cancer Awareness Month in October. We are thrilled to be the lead sponsors of the CBC Run for the Cure. We've been doing this for numerous years now and we are just ecstatic to be involved once again. CBC is making a difference. The Run for the Cure is making a difference. We really, our, our dream, our hope, it's the, the message on all the t-shirts today is that we will have a future without breast cancer. So one in nine women are diagnosed with breast cancer uh, on a daily basis and the numbers are going down. They've actually gone down 48% since we started the foundation in 1986. So that is a huge improvement from where the numbers used to be. The money raised from the Run for the Cure, where exactly does it go? So the money that's raised at the Niagara Region Run goes towards Ontario. So all the money that's raised in Ontario stays in Ontario. So what happens is different doctors and different foundations apply for the grant funds and they're granted through the foundation, through the funding department. And what would happen is they would fund different grants through Toronto, Hamilton, different places like that. Many breast cancer survivors participate in the run. They're recognizable by their pink shirts. I was diagnosed in the spring of 2014 and I was very fortunate that it was stage one breast cancer but um, it was those ups and downs of not knowing what that was going to look like, what it was going to entail. Um, I was very fortunate I was able to have some um, surgery to remove the lump and then uh, last summer I spent my summer doing some radiation and here I am today feeling great. Had you participated in the CIBC Run for the Cure prior to you contracting breast cancer? Uh, no I hadn't. Uh, last, last fall I was hoping to do it but it just didn't work out um, just based on where I was with my health but I'm feeling great now and looking forward to running it and that's a really big um, thing for me to be doing right now. How much money did you raise in pledges? We have a team of uh, eight of us and we raised um, just about a thousand dollars. Nate, can you uh, tell me why you're participating today? I'm running for my mom. I'm really proud of her for doing all this so yeah. The Run for the Cure grew from one CIBC branch's efforts to support a fellow employee faced with the disease. This started off as a grassroots cause. Uh, one of our employees had breast cancer. It started off as, 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 as a branch. We now have 15,000 employees right across Canada involved. And so this happens at every branch. This happens at every level. This is one of our driving forces at CIBC. Breast Cancer Month continues during the month of October. The Canadian Breast Cancer Foundation urges you to wear pink and sport your pink ribbon during the month. Reporting for The Source at Brock University, I'm Mike Balsam.